before I, 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 I didn't mention this before, but I'm going to mention it now. Uh, the gods told me before I even walked in that courtroom, they said, you're going to see whether or not the courtroom is legitimate or not. And uh, boy, did I. You got, to, you got to the courthouse, you walked in, what was it like? Who was there and what was going on? Well, the, the, the first striking thing is that nobody called my case. That's that's the that that's the important thing. Nobody called my case, and, and the judge finally opens up his mouth after everything else was done and says, "Is there any case I didn't call?" And I said, "Yes, sir." And and he's like, "Well, who are you? What's going on?" And um, you know, and so I told him my case, and and he's then and, and that's when he said, "Oh well, you got to have another document." No, you don't. According to every legal website, you only need the Replevin document. It is literally a standalone document. I, I, I hate to say it, but it seems like there's a little corruption going on. Well, that sounds like there might be, yeah. You drop the document, you file the papers, you paid you paid two hundred and fifty dollars to get a court date. Yeah. And then the judge says and then the judge turns around and says you didn't do your court date. Wait a minute, then what the fuck are you doing there then? Well, exactly. Why did I pay two hundred and fifty well, two hundred and twenty one dollars actually? Why did I, why did I pay two hundred twenty one dollars if if they didn't file the damn court case? I'm gonna go I'm gonna go to courthouse tomorrow and demand my money back because they never filed my document. You know why pay the two hundred twenty one dollars if they're not gonna file my fucking document? I'm gonna ask for my money back. I'm gonna clear it with the courthouse police first because they'll they you know they're liable. To, oh well, he threatened me, officer. Arrest him. You know. Mm -hmm. I mean, I, it wouldn't surprise me in the least, man. Wouldn't surprise me in the least. So I'm going to I'm going to make sure a cops with me and then I'm going to well, go up here and I'm going to ask for my money what back. What needs to happen is I need to get my money back and then I go file in appellate court over in Frankfurt and I'll get hurt immediately and okay. then also have to fucking give me back my shit. That's what I need to do. This judge has proven that I'm not going to get a, a fair trial. I'm I'm just not. Because like I said, you could go to any legal website and and look at and look for yourself. A replevin is a standalone document. You don't need another document. You you can literally file a replevin. See, this is why a, a replevin has to be notarized because it's a standalone document. It doesn't require any other documents. It is a standalone document. Its its nickname is called claim and deliver. Why? Because it's literally instantaneous. You you file your replevin. You get into in front of the judge. The judge hears your your statement. Judge hears the counter argument, and then he decides right then and there. The judge is implying I still need another document to get into circuit court. No, not according to ky.gov. I don't, and not according to any other legal document. I don't, or a legal website. <clears throat> a replevin is a standalone document. I don't need anything. See, now why is this fun? The reason why it is is because everything else has already been handled in other courts. The fraud should be in prison. Fake wills, well, of course they should. fake documents, fake Perjury. this, fake that. Everything, they're liars. They're deceiving people. Grand larceny, grand larceny, grand theft, perjury, uh, 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 two felonies for two legal documents that they forged. You know, they, yeah, they should be in prison, all of them. I got an email from a troll saying, ha, 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 we won. Now, you ain't won shit. You ain't won shit. As, as, a, as, as somebody famous once said, I have only yet begun to fight, motherfucker. Okay. This is, this is like, this is like a ballet. Okay. This is like a ballet. Okay. I'm, I made, I made a curtsy. They made a bow. And then now I, now I fucking counter that with, with a pirouette. All right. Now, if you're too fucking stupid to understand what those words mean, then you're a dumbass and you don't need to be in this conversation. Right. Yes. OK. They want an opening salvo. Big fucking deal. I get my money back from court. I go to appellate court. I file my fucking replevin and I get an immediate answer. OK. Unlike in this courtroom. I mean, I, I, I guess it's still technically a courtroom. I mean, my document wasn't even filed, even though I paid my filing fee. And I never, I never even got a chance to get heard. Go to, go to any legal document, put replevin in there, and what are you going to find? Oh, it's a standalone document. You don't need any other document. You, you fill out your replevin, you get it notarized by the notary public, you pay your fees, and you get heard in front of a judge. It's that fucking simple. And you get a decision right then. That's the whole point of the replevin is that you get an immediate answer right then. You don't have to wait. You don't have to uh, file any other documents.
that you know the, the judge the judge saying i still needed to file a document to get into circuit court something is wrong there because you don't and like i said this information is straight from ky.gov itself is the judge insinuating that ky.gov lied to me or that all these other legal websites lied to me i hope not i hope not you know, maybe maybe the judge doesn't know what a replevin is. I don't know. Maybe he don't. I didn't know what the hell it was. I had to look it up. It does not require any other documents beforehand or afterwards. That's that's the truth. Uh, but anyways, so you know, I think what I'm I think what I need to do, I need to drive to Frankfurt and file file an appeal. And I, I got a funny feeling that when I present my my replevin document to the appeals court. I get hurt. I get hurt immediately. There won't be any question. I'll get hurt immediately. And then the Frost and Stivers are going to have to pay me back my fucking money. Because I'm going to I'm going to insist that Stivers give me back the twenty five hundred dollars. I, I paid him for losing his court case. Have you ever heard of that? You lose your court case and then you get paid by the other side. I ain't never heard of that in my life. But that, that actually happened. He actually got to court. To have me pay him for losing his court case. What the kind of crazy shit is that? He lost his court. I'm the one that should have been paid. I should have got court costs. I should have got damages. I should have got penalties. But I didn't. Why? Well, I don't know. That, but I, sh you know, I was the one that won the court case. I'm the one that was supposed to have gotten paid. Not Stivers. He lost his case. Oh, you got to pay me. Well, wait a minute. Why? You lost. You know? And not only that, but Frost is already paying him with my money any damn way. So why do I got to pay him again? Oh, good question. Good question. And then, like I said, he's got on their document, he's going to try to take me to court and, and get me to pay money. Okay, great. Take me to court, Mr. Stivers. Take me to court. Please, please do. Please take me to court. Okay? Because you just slandered, libeled, and defamed me right then and there. And you got absolutely no proof, Mr. Stivers. I, on the other hand, have tons of proof about what I say. So please take me to court. Please do. He won't, though. None of them will. They'll not take me to court. Because if they, if they had an ironclad case, they would have took me to court years ago. I'd be in a jail cell right now, and that would have been the end of it. So they have no case, and they know it. They have no case. So he's talking bullshit, as usual. But it's all good. It's all good. Um, like I said, I'll just go to an appeals court and get it done. And, and and there won't be there won't be any question because I assure you an appeals court knows what a replevin document is. And so now it's time now it's time for me to counter. And so I just go to an appeals court. Uh, the appeals court will hear my case immediately because you don't like I said a replevin is a standalone document. You don't need any other document. You just file your replevin and get heard. Like I said, you know I tried to I tried to tell these dingbats you know what's going on because see I'm I'm old as you can tell. And I know some things, and it pays people to listen. You got these dumbasses on YouTube talking shit. They don't know nothing. They know absolutely right. Fuck they all. need to. They need to take notes. They need to shut the fuck up and start taking notes. They, they need to fucking listen to their elders. And and the yeah. gods are real, are real anal about that kind of shit. So uh, so what I so all it, you know. So what I'm going to do. I'm to, uh, tomorrow. I'm going to try to get my money back. And if I succeed in getting my money back, I'll just go to I'll just go to a, a court of appeals or some appellate court somewhere, or maybe even another, maybe even another circuit court in another County. And yeah. I'll, I'll just file. And, and then the frosts are going to have to pay me my fucking money because I got a funny feeling. If I file in another County, uh, especially if I don't tell them which County I'm filing in, um, uh, I'll win my case because I got a funny feeling that other counties are going to be like, Oh, it's a replevin. Well, come right on in. I won't need any other document, but, uh, but yeah, the fact that a sitting judge does not know what a replevin document is. Uh, wow. That's, that's scary. That is scary as hell. Cause I mean, I'm, I shouldn't be surprised. I mean, you know, there's been other instances where, where people, I mean, look, at, I go, I go to a fucking specialist, a specialist didn't know what lymphedema was a specialist. And they didn't even know what lymphedema was. I had to explain That's... it to them. And I'm like, wait a minute, how the fuck did these specialists not know? But, but I did, you know, I mean, granted, I got 190 IQ, but I mean, these specialists, they're supposed to know what the fuck lymphedema is. You know, I went to several, I went to several doctors and specialists uh, all over Kentucky 
and and a good many of them didn't know didn't even know what lymphedema was. I had to tell them, and then they didn't believe me and went on the internet and found out that I was telling the truth. Oh wow, you really are disabled. You really do have lymphedema. It really is a crippling disease. Wow, no shit, really. <laughs> yeah, imagine that. You know, but I mean. That should scare the shit out of anybody right there. Oh, my God. You Wait a minute. You mean medical professionals do not know what the fuck lymphedema is? That's right. And I ran into several, not just one or two. I ran into several that did not know what lymphedema was. So if a, if a doctor in the medical profession does not know about lymphedema, it's very possible that a judge didn't know about rep, uh, replevin. Mm. And see, see, the thing of it is, if my, if my case had been put on the docket and Judge House uh, was really genuinely concerned, he would have went to Judge Lewis and Judge Harris and actually consulted with them on, on my case and said, hey, what, what's the story on this? Is, is he telling the truth? They'd be like, absolutely. He's telling the truth. I have no reason to lie. I have no reason to lie whatsoever. So, but it's scary, man. It's scary. You know, and in fact, um, one, of, one of the lawyers I talked to uh, yesterday, or well, no, today, because it's still, it's not past midnight. So one of, one of the lawyers I talked to today, they said, why don't you just go to the appeals court and get it done? I'm like, oh, well. I never really thought about that, you know. So one of the lawyers I talked to today, I'm, I went around to every lawyer today, by the way, every single one of them, and uh, talked with them with all of them. No, because I, I couldn't, I couldn't believe it. I'm, I'm like, I'm in shock that a that a sitting judge did not know what a replevin was. I'm, I'm literally in shock. So I go. But what was some of the lawyers. answers of the lawyers? What were they saying? Well, they they were saying, you know, that I I I seem to have a valid case. Uh, you know, they thought I had a valid case. Everybody who looked at it said they thought I had a valid case, and uh, but the case wasn't even like I said, the case wasn't even docked. I mean, I give my, you know, like I said, one of the attorneys I talked to um, now yesterday because it's after twelve midnight. But one of the attorneys I talked to yesterday says, um, "Why didn't you just file in the court of appeals?" I'm like fuck i don't know <laughs> i guess i should have you know so i don't know